Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live at the Roxy on Broadway in Denver during the Underground Music Showcase with L.A. Witch. L.A. Witch, thank you for joining us. Hi, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I know you guys have, there's a lot going on right now. There's a drive to Kansas City that's happening imminently, like as soon as this session wraps, yeah. I think. So uh, thank you very much for making yeah, this part for, of your Denver trip. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you feel like doing first today? Um, I guess the first song we'll be playing is Dark Horse. Thank you again for coming and uh, arriving at 11 a.m. and singing at 12 p.m. We appreciate it very much. Thank you for having it's us. It's not the most vocal friendly hour in the uh, in the world, but you guys sound tremendous from where I'm standing. Thanks. So thank you. Um, what has been your highlight so far? Is this your first UMS or have you been here before? We've been here before. But it's our first UMS festival. What has been your highlight so far? Other than I mean your your set obviously, but who have you been really excited about seeing with uh, since you've been here? On the mic. Oh, sorry. 
We've actually only been here for one day. We we didn't get a chance to check out any of the bands, unfortunately, because we have to leave so soon. So we we're like kind of bummed about it. But I'm so life. glad I, I sh maybe should have asked you that offline before we. <laughs> I just asked you that on the internet. Um, have you been excited about any burritos or pizza or anything that you have experienced uh, well, food wise in Denver? It's funny you should say that because we actually walked by Pie Hall yesterday, and that then will, is that yeah. what we ate? oh, yeah. were you guys? There? Yeah, and then we noticed that they had a vegan pizza that was named after us, so we oh, really? got to try it out, and it was great, so That's it was great. cool. Yeah. They also have a gluten-free IPA that tastes like uh, rot rotten garbage. And it's not the pizza place's fault. It's the beer. is disgusting. It might have been skunk, or maybe that's what it tastes like. I'm not sure. But the, the, pizza, the pizza was really good. Yeah. That um, pizza's great. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you again for being here. Um, I know you guys got to get yourselves to Kansas City. Um, so we'll just move right along. What cool. do you guys feel like playing second today? Um, I guess we will be playing uh, Baby in Blue Jeans.
Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, we got a little bit of a chance to talk about uh, L.A. and Joshua Tree offline. I'm glad you mentioned Pappy and Harriet. Um, can we talk a little bit about some of the artists in your scene who have been supportive to you and artists who you've been able to support that uh, you've collaborated with recently or artists that you're excited about? Yeah, well, actually, um, we are very lucky to be on a really cool label called Suicide Squeeze, and they're based out of Seattle. Um, they have a lot of great bands on there, including... The Coat Hangers and Death Valley Girls, and yeah, who we tomorrow. actually, huh? They're doing this tomorrow. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah, I think we, yeah, a lot of, a lot, we have a lot of the same fans, so they're always like talking about, oh yeah, you're gonna be in, or Death Valley Girls is gonna be there the day after you or whatever. Um, but we played a show with them at Pappy and Harriet's, um, which was awesome, and um, yeah, I mean, we're just lucky to be not only like be able to support like other bands that are like great but they're actually on our label too so it feels like family um i don't know Do you wanna is that how did that uh the relationship originate between you guys and suicide squeeze and squeeze is it like an organic thing hanging out over over beers or what what did the what attracted you to that label or them to you well it's funny because they actually came to one of our shows i think it was in prob probably in seattle um, and it was a terrible show. It was awful. Like, we <laughs> d we didn't even have a sound guy. Like, we did our own sound. You know, we, like, set up our own monitors, and we were, like, trying to figure out the mixer and stuff. Um, and it was, like, there was no stage. It was such a, it was an awful show. But And we knew that the label, you know, that David from Suicide Squeeze was coming. And so we were super nervous and, like, freaking out because um, we were we hadn't been signed yet. Um, and so we were, we were so sure after that show that it was like a no go. We we're like, I'm never going to play another show. Yeah, we blew again. it. Like, it's not going to happen. And then we get a call the next day and you know, it's like, oh yeah, David's like really excited to like talk to you about, talk to you guys or whatever. And we're like, really? Like, okay, cool. And so, I mean, you know, we ended up signing with them and, um, I think that was like, what, like six years ago or something. I don't know. 20 Am I tripping? Sorry, I'm probably tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like just throwing yes, numbers out. That makes five of us, I think. <laughs> I am tripping, actually. <laughs> yeah. Like literally. Um, am I well, allowed to say that on like what? Happened? Yeah, that's that's five years ago. I'm glad that you guys found that relationship and it's working. It sounds that sounds rad. Um, thank you again for sharing yeah. your music with us here today. Uh, what do you want to do last today? Um, we will be playing a song called Sexorexia. <laughs>
Thank you so much, LA Witch. Thank you, audience. It sounds wonderful in here. Um, and have a safe travel to Kansas City, cool. safe travels to, I know you're at Market Hotel in Brooklyn and many, many dates. So please travel yes. safely between all so those much. things. And let's do this again. I'm, cool. I'm a fan Thank of you. what you guys do. So we'll see you somewhere awesome yeah. next. Yeah. Ciao. All right. That is that. We did it. Yeah. Woo.